John chapter 1, verses 1 to 14. Back to the beginning, with Christ placed at the heart of everything. In the beginning, the Word already existed. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. From the very beginning, the Word was with God. Through him, God made all things. Not one thing in all creation was made without him. The Word was the source of life, and this life brought light to people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never put it out. God sent his messenger, a man named John, who came to tell people about the light, so that all should hear the message and believe. He himself was not the light. He came to tell about the light. This was the real light, the light that comes into the world and shines on all people. The word was in the world, and though God made the world through him, yet the world did not recognise him. He came to his own country, but his own people did not receive him. Some, however, did receive him and believed in him, so he gave them the right to become God's children. They did not become God's children by natural means, that is, by being born as the children of a human father. God himself was their father. The word became a human being and, full of grace and truth, lived among us. We saw his glory, the glory which he received as the father's only son, We've just heard the reading from John's Gospel, which in many ways is the punchline to all that we've been hearing about. Our very first reading five days ago was from Genesis about the beginning, about creation. And this passage now is in a sense bringing us back to that beginning, but also giving us a new beginning for all that follows. These words are the opening verse of John's Gospel, very famous words. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God and the Word was God. From the beginning, but from the very beginning, the Word was with God. The point is there, who is the Word? The Word is the expression of God, another name for Jesus, none other than that. And what that's saying is, Jesus was with God in the beginning with creation, Jesus was God. In the beginning, Jesus and God were there and they continued together. Which tells us that when we hear about Jesus being born in Bethlehem, we're hearing about God himself being born to live as a human being on earth. Stepping down onto the stage, into creation, to be part of it, rubbing shoulders with it. And in many ways that's the most powerful and important thing. Because it tells us that God is not a spectator from a distance, but a participant from the heart of things. And that changes how we can understand God and certainly how we can relate to him. And that's exactly why Jesus came, so that we can relate to him. The person who wrote this down was John, Jesus' closest disciple. And the very end of John's Gospel, he makes it very plain that he wrote down everything in his Gospel so that people would know about Jesus and be able to believe. And in the passage we just had read out, it says, The Word became a human being, Jesus became a human being, and, full of grace and truth, lived among us one of us. We saw his glory. John there is saying that we, meaning himself and the other disciples, we saw it firsthand with our own eyes. The glory which he received as the Father's only Son. We've talked a few times now this week about witnesses to the truth of Jesus. John was as close as anyone could be. He saw with his own eyes the experience in his own life, the reality of God come down to earth. He was convinced and he wrote this down so that we can be convinced. This Christmas, we are celebrating the birth of Jesus. We are celebrating the arrival of God on earth to change history about how we relate to him. So enjoy your Christmas meals, enjoy your Christmas presents, enjoy your Christmas celebrations. But we'd encourage you to do so, remembering that we're celebrating the fact that God had time to spend time with us on earth. And as we celebrate his birth, we can open our eyes and our hearts to know more about him, not just on Christmas Day, but maybe look into it in the year ahead. Our church will be open whenever the law allows on Sunday mornings, and you can come along, and we will always be talking about Jesus in that way. We wish you all a Merry Christmas. Enjoy the final carol now, O come, all ye faithful. Even sing along at home if you're allowed.
Yeah.